the Rebelcon by Rebel RC. This is an awesome scale truck. Drives good. The body movements are there. It's all there. Time to get a little bit of a crawl along with this thing. I've got a Hubwing Fusion 1800 KV and a 14 tooth pinion gear. I was informed I can fit as small as a 13 tooth on it, which is pretty darn awesome, but I didn't have a 13 tooth. So guess what? 14 tooth it is. I'll show this to you on the table. We're getting this thing outside and we're seeing if it can crawl. Guys, let's get to the table. Here you go, Hobby Wing Fusion. Now to get this in, okay, I did have to kind of take the transmission loose by taking the uh, servo out, you know, kind of making it where I can move it just a little bit, but I was able to get it in as you guys can see right there. So we are all set. BEC is set at six volts and we're ready to go. CNHL 3S. Guys, let's get this thing outside. Let's see what that Fusion has got here. Okay. The crawl has finally got the crawl. I wish I would have had a 13 tooth for it, but all I had was the 14. So let's see here. Okay, this is so much better. It's still a bit top heavy. So I got to get some weight down low, but this is phenomenal. Roll. The fusion's got the hold. Okay, now we're talking. See, now that I've got my crawl that I want, now I can work on other things like, you know, brass, tires, servo. Okay, this is what I was after from the first, from the very first video right here. Now, this is first gear. We're going to go ahead and hit second gear here in a few seconds. Now, as far as competition balance, I don't really see this as a competition truck, the way it's set up. At least not with the body and all that, but let me see, what, what, what am I gonna do here? I lost track of what I was gonna drive. But, I'm on the trail for scale realism, I think this thing is pretty darn awesome now. So much better. Now that we know it crawls, let's hit first gear. This is 3S by the way. Everything I do is 3S. Okay, this is perfect. Let's hit that second gear. Let me see, where is that second gear right there? Okay, look at that guys. Okay. Ooh, a little bit wild. I think we had the best of both worlds. This is awesome. Back to first gear. Back to crawling. Check this out right here. I've got it on autopilot, guys. Here's my hand. See that? Autopilot. Or I could show you my guest driver. <laughs> 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 uh -huh. He's checking this thing out right here. The crawl on it is so much better. Heck yeah. Yeah, I'm going to get into servos. I got an HK Hobbies 35kg that's how I'm going to put it here. Give that a try. Front diff right on that rock. There we go. And as far as the top heavy part goes, I don't know if I'm going to mess with that. I may just keep it more of a trail style vehicle, you know? We have to hire this guy to drive for me more often. He's doing great. <laughs> I like this thing, man. This is nice. Very impressive. Yeah, not bad for stock servo on six volts, too. That's, that's amazing. Um, I'm going to get into tires and all kinds of stuff I'm right there. What I found is when the tires do that a lot, um, if you happen to have dig or a overdrive in it, it'll help to settle it. But running really good. This stock servo has got plenty of juice for what it is. Very nice.
see what we got here. All right, good straddle, good straddle. Using the side walls. Looks like it's gonna come right on up. Good shot of this. Ugh. Oh, saved it. Here we go. See what we can do with this one. This used to be a tough little spot right here. I think I kind of um, manicured it a little bit too much and made it a little bit too easy. But we'll see here. It's got a good crawl right up there. higher up on it. Give it a little bit of a bump. Oh. Nope. Not gonna happen. And one more nice little crawl just to get this thing going. Oh. Top end weight is a little bit on the rough side of this thing. Looking really good. Kind of hung up on the. Oh, look at that! Made it. Nice. And just because if you're on the trail, you still want to be able to get around and move, right? Nice. I think the 1800 kV hobby may be the perfect system for this. I mean, really. The 14 tooth pinion gear, flawless. Lock in these discs. Now, I've already durability tested this thing, so we know it's got the, and we know it's tough. Nice. Finally got the crawl I was after. Man, I've been wanting that since day one with this thing. I actually think a 1200 kV fusion would be a perfect fit for this as well. Um, 1800 kV, it's got plenty of power, plenty of juice, and it can probably get some hills. But I do kind of think maybe a 1200 will probably be the optimum choice for this. But for me, in the sandy area of Florida, guess what? 1800 it is. So, yeah, I like it. Now I can get into other things like a servo. HK Hobbies, 35 kg. Got my hopes up for this guy right here, so this will be going into it soon. I can get into some wheels, tires, and then they have all kinds of other options for this thing as well. So I'll be picking up some of those as time goes on. But you know what, guys? I'm happy with the crawl. It got the crawl. It got the hold. It got the control. Absolute win. Guys, check that description. You know those affiliate links are down there. A-Main, eBay, Amazon, and Horizon. I don't think we're going to find the Rebel Con on that, but we might can find this. Maybe. We'll have to look. Anyway, guys, check that description. Use those links. Make sure you're subscribed. And thank you all for watching. Guys, if you like what you see, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell. So, in the description, there's a link to become a channel member. If you want to become a channel member, it's a very simple $2, $5, $10, or if you really got some money, $25 a month. It's a simple way to support the channel. So, get that, and I am doing monthly giveaways for members only, so you might want to consider it. So, guys, here's those links. Make sure you're subscribed. Thank you all for watching.